not only can tornadoes be looked at at a regional or a continental scale, but individual tornadoes can also be examined. Let's take a look at one day's worth of tornadoes, and also let's consider hailstorms and lightning on that particular day, and maybe how about some wind, uh, wind storms, just general wind storms on, that, on a particular day, and see what the pattern is of those storms on a particular day. Did they start in a certain place and spread out over that day? Were they localized? Let's just take a look at one day's worth of, of severe storms and see what it reveals spatially and temporally. Let's get started. Let's investigate one day patterns of tornadoes, wind and hail using ArcGIS in a lesson called Stormy Weather. What you'll do in this lesson is to work with data and maps to understand the spatial and temporal distribution of tornadoes, wind, and hail. This lesson uses ArcGIS Desktop 10 software from ESRI. Earlier versions of the software could be used, but the best results will be achieved with ArcGIS 10. This activity can be used at a variety of levels from upper secondary to university level. Questions could be modified depending on the level targeted. Students should be familiar with maps and some basics of physical and cultural geography and some GIS to most effectively use this lesson. This lesson includes 50 questions. Estimated time to complete them is four standard class periods for a total of three to four hours. Or it could be assigned outside of class with an estimated time of completion as one to two hours or possibly three hours. The investigation could be extended to one week of five class periods, allowing for class presentations to be made, or even further with additional tools used or different weather phenomena investigated, or a subset of the questions could be engaged within one or two class periods. These questions and problems can be posed by an instructor in a one computer classroom with a projector, engaging the students in discussion while using the ArcGIS tools, or in a computer lab setting where students are working on their own computers. In a lab setting, students can work independently or in groups through these problems. The skills involved are as follows. This lesson includes analyzing spatial point and polygon data, symbolizing data, data and file management, selection, sorting, querying data in maps, and tables, working with map projections, creating summary tables, and creating and analyzing data in graphs. These lab sheets are all you need to run the lesson. However, you could easily extend the lesson by investigating additional days of tornadoes, wind, hail, and other events from the NOAA Storm Center or other data sets depending on the questions you wish to, wish to ask. One resource for this data is, as you can see right here. You could also determine which cities had the most hail, wind, or tornadoes near them on 22 April 2011 or any other day. You could also create a tornado, wind, or hail density and a 3D surface using Spatial Analyst and 3D Analyst, respectively. If you extend the lesson, please consider submitting your extension as a lesson on ARC Lessons. edcommunity.esri.com Let's get started.